I'm doing this, ladies and gentlemen, because I need you guys to really get this and understand this. So when, when you talk about being educated and learning stuff in camp, it's not just I'm getting licks and tricks in this boot camp, because if that's all that you get, I'll shut it down, I won't do it. You have to have an understanding of what's going on and why things are going on and why things are happening. In order to understand that, I have to go back and make sure that you guys know, honestly. So you see Josh, how I drop down? You see that? Drop down to, to grab that? Okay. So, and this, it actually spells out the chord without you actually playing the chord. Diminish, augment it, major and minors, right? It's really important that we understand these concepts because what happens is um, this stuff actually leads to the next uh, level per se of, uh, of your playing. Um, this information will help you um, understand your fretboard and it's actually the GPS to your playing. Um, there's only but so far you can go by just muscle memory and you know you can do pretty good but by knowing basic theory just knowing the basic theory of guitar you don't have to be a theory head or buff but knowing basic here uh theory it will allow you to do things that's outside of what your muscle memory is used to five play. what are, what quarter are we playing on at five is it like a jesus jesus what, jesus what card are we playing a rich jesus. what'd you say it's like a G sus two, G sus two, yeah, or G seven sus two. Mm hmm. You get it? Or sometimes they'll call it F, F with a a, a G in the bass. It could be an F. If you play a F triad and add the the G in the bass, it's the you get the same result. See that? F triad, add. The, Add the G in the bass. Got that? This is all a part of ear training and being able to pick out different things when you hear them. And sometimes our ears will mess with us because we think it's one thing, but it's absolutely something different. You can even pick up the notes of the chord starting on, on the E, right? Because we know the chord is, right? We got that, right? But, you know, everybody did really good. Um, there was, you know, some who, you know, kind of got off track a little bit. But everybody has the concept. And, and they you have something to build off of. So that's the big thing. And like I was saying earlier, it was more making the statement. And a lot of times... What we did at first is we went to, or we did stuff like that. Uh, but a lot of times what I'll do is I'll start. I'll start there and work my way up to the higher register, okay? Okay, with that song, 
There is no major seven chord in there. Okay, and you played major seven chord in there. Now, also, um, pay if you're gonna play those lines, play really pay close attention to how they're moving. Okay, even you don't have to play all of them. If you just play the one. Yeah. You can just play the one. But don't worry about capturing every nuance until you're able to really execute every one of them. So, can, can I just ask, when you're playing that slide, are you playing the three strings, the, the D, G, and B? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's all. Because otherwise it would be... And that's not what we heard. Okay. No. And I went around and asked everybody what makes up different things. So we know a diminishes a one flat three flat five. So if we just add those notes into our chords and just figure out where they at, you can play different inversions in different places. You know, it's just like the one flat three flat five find that all over the neck on different strings and then we're gonna go okay that's what we're gonna do now when we do the bend i want to hear so i want to hear that so we're going one more time one more time family watch 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 here we go but I'm, I'm going to expand your way of approaching. I'm, I'm going to give you tools and a toolbox, not to be used all at the same time, but tools that you will have if you want to take and say, okay, I don't want to play this chord. I want to use this substitution. I want to do that. When I said substitution, I mean a different way of playing the same chord, a different variation of playing that same particular chord, okay? Everybody with me? We're good? Good? Shake your head. Thumbs up. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, what you were just viewing <clears throat> was excerpts from previous boot camps, um, different things that we would cover in boot camp, um, everything from chord melody to to bends and um, phrasing. And the reason why um, I'm actually doing the boot camp. Happy Monday to everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I see everybody popping in. Um, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, my weekend was tiring. I was so tired. And I'm building my, make sure my immune system is all built up and all that good stuff because I was in several different climates. I was up in Seattle where it was 39 degrees with those great people at the Christian Musician Summit. 39 degrees and raining. I left there and flew back into, um, I got back into Raleigh. Um, it was like midnight. So it was actually Sunday morning um, and it was 70 degrees. So then I ended up having to go to Annapolis, Maryland, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, on the other side of uh, Baltimore. Um, and I was working with the Canton Spiritual, so <clears throat> been running, and now I'm here with you, amazing people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen, I'm glad that you're here. Um, for those who chimed in and let me know what part of the world you are uh, viewing from, thank you. Um, if you're just new to the channel, welcome. Uh, <clears throat> we are family here. Um, if you don't mind, just let me know where you are viewing from. <laughs> Ball, Baltimore. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Let me know where you're viewing from. 
Um, and let me know if this is your first time viewing. Please subscribe, like, and share so we can get let the world know what we're doing over here in our little circle of family. Uh, what are we going to cover today? We're going to talk about some stuff because I've been getting a lot of questions. Norman, Oklahoma, I like that. Hey, Rick. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about the boot camp. Yes, people want to know, what am I, what is the advantage of, be, you know, being a part of this boot camp? What am I going to get out of this? And I, you know, I've had several um, of my alumni, alumnus, um, <laughs> did little clips and talked about it on Instagram, Ro Marcus and Sonya Ramsey and, you know, several others, Rudy, um, a um, few of my, my attendees, but listen, let me tell you something. And it's, it's really good that they're giving you that perspective so you can understand exactly what's happening. We talk about in the last few weeks, we talked about some of the stuff that we'll probably be covering, um, in the boot camp, but we talked about the number system, how to build cords and what, what else, the fretboard knowledge. Those are essential things that will help you grow and make you allow you to play and do different things. Knowing your fretboard, if you know your fretboard, you're able to play stuff like that and know and without getting lost. Being able to play different things without getting lost. Knowing where you are here. And then when someone says, okay, we're playing in, we're playing in C. Left-handed James Simpson, Louis, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, Kentucky. All right. Um, knowing when they say a C, you know how to find your C's. You know, being able to find this all over the fretboard, tune up here, see that? Be able to go up and down the fretboard, finding all of your C's. Look, good to see you up here, man. I hate you missed it. We had a good time. It was a really good turnout. We had fun. But I'm um, glad to see you on here. But listen, yeah, so knowing your fretboard will allow you to be in situations. If you're, even if you're just a, a bedroom player and say, okay, well, I just want to be able to listen to music and be able to pick out what key it's in and, and how do I find this and all this stuff is essential when you really want to do this and you don't want to spend all day trying to figure out what key this particular song is in. So if you know your fretboard, if you understand your fretboard, then um, that gives you options. Man, listen, if I didn't know my fretboard, I promise you, your muscle memory will take you places, but it won't, it will only take you here where knowing your fretboard will take you there. And I have different techniques and different ways that I approach teaching, um, learning your fretboard. One, that's one thing that we're going to cover. And that's one thing that will help you tremendously. How to build chords. Why, <clears throat> why would I want to know how to build chords? Why, why, would, why is that important? Somebody tell me, why is it important to you, you feel, that it's important to know how to build a chord. Tell me, explain to me, why do you think that knowing how to build a chord will help you? Okay. Somebody, somebody tell me while well, I'll, I'll pick on my guitar. Hey, what's happening? Statesville, North Carolina. That's up around Charlotte, I believe. So tell me, explain to me, why is it important, you think it's important to 
know how to build a chord. It helps you understand the intervals and relates to scales and chords. Boy, let me tell you something. You just wrote that, Rudolph. Mm-hmm. Queen! Dallas, Texas. What's happening? Being able to find different areas on the neck. That's right. So, another way to say that, Romarcus, is different intervals. You know? So... Why, someone else, come on, help me out. Why is it important? So you can transport, that's, see these things, Rick, Rick, you on it. These things are so very important when you, when you want to add flavor. Ha <laughs> ha, there you go, Alfreda. I'm going to put all these on because when people come on here, I want to see that I have some, some geniuses. <laughs> Uh, on this thing. So when they go back to watch it, they be able to see that all of these great people have some great information. It's yes. Man, I'm telling you, you guys are, are on it. And knowing these techniques, knowing these techniques, <laughs> the number system, that's right. Listen, so if I'm playing a minor chord, how is that? How am I going to build that? What is that? That's one flat three into five, right? One, right? So if I'm able to find this all over, all over the neck, where am I? I'll be able to play these notes, these chords, these, that minor, everywhere, all over the neck, because why? I know how the chord is built. And I know how it was built. I know how to maneuver it. I can play it everywhere. You know what I mean? You got me? able to play these minors because I know just like I played it there you'll be able to play all of this stuff and not even really have to think about it and all of these different techniques and different things that I'm talking with you about and I'm speaking with you about and I'm sharing with you and I can't do it all now I can't say it's been um that time now trying to teach because I only have an hour. We're already 19 minutes in. Only have an hour. And it takes time for you guys to soak this thing in. And the great thing about the boot camp is we have people like yourselves, I'm pointing to all of you, all you great people. Okay. People like yourselves are in there and you're able to interact with one another along with me teaching these different concepts. You're able to talk to each other and, and glean from each other. So it's so important. And I love it. I love teaching one-on-one. -on -one. I have some great students on here. I have a few of my students, private students on here now. And I love sharing with them one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. That's different. But when you're in a, a group setting, a class setting, and it's almost like, okay, and it challenges you. I'm telling you, it really challenges you because you never know when I'm going to call on you to answer that question, I'm going to say, Queen, Queen Brown, what is it? What is that? Tell me. Boom. And some of these other, my other students will tell you, say, they'll get on um, the Zoom call, call on the Zoom and they start playing some sweet stuff. And I said, wow, we love that. What is it? Then they'll call out a song. I said, no. What is it? I, they said, such and such. I said, no. Tell me what you are playing. 
because it's so important to know what you're playing so you can play more than just that song. Boom. <laughs> Um, oh, um, Lewis, information will go out. Just stay connected to the community and any information you may need will come out prior to. Okay, here, here we go. One of my alumni, he said, you taught us in boot camp how to take chords and break them down into triad chord fragments and be able to utilize the root chord inversions for rhythm and or soloing the boot camp is awesome rudolph let me tell you something rudolph had knowledge when he came in rudolph had great knowledge rudolph was able to, to enhance what he he already had because of what we went over and what we do and what I do, they don't do this, but what I do is I find out where everybody is, find out exactly where they're playing, what that, what are they doing, and I find their weak areas. And that's where I say, mm, mm, I keep poking that sore spot until that weak area is no longer weak. <laughs> Aaron says, it humbles you. Also, <laughs> he says, don't come unprepared. <laughs> because I will call you out. <laughs> but you know what? Anytime you go to class, anytime you go to school, it's always the person, especially with instructors, they look for the people that sit in the back. Those are the people you want to call on. It's not picking on them, but we just want to make sure that everybody is up to par. Okay. I'm going to give you an example of a song that has a lot of different things that's going on it, in it. But you're able to play by knowing these simple rules, number system, how to build chords, and your fretboard. You're able to play this particular song and not have to worry about, am I gonna get lost? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just that playing the Walter Hawkins song. Just that simple. Just that simple. And I just put strings on here. And I'm making sure that, because I have a funny ear. And I can't stand for my guitar to be slipping. So bear with me. And let me show you how that, how I was able to play that. Okay. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Okay. And all it is, is triads. This one last one has a it's a sus. It's a a G over F because that's the F chord, F triad, and it has the G in the bass. It's a sus chord. So so we have one, 
Why am I telling you? You tell me. What are the numbers? How am I able to play these chords without moving all over the fretboard? How am I able to play these? Because I understand how to build chords. I understand the number system. It's the same chord. Because I'm able to do these things and able to play songs like that because I understand the, the fretboard, one. I understand the number system, two. So when I'm listening to the song, when I'm listening to Thank You, Lord, I'm able to hear these numbers. I'm actually almost seeing the numbers. Okay, I'm hearing the chord structure, how these chords are being played. So I know that these minors, these different minors they're playing, or I'm playing, if I hear a six or something. Yeah, takes me back to, yeah, exactly right. Hey, Ken, we did, um... and play using the chords. Because we're able to hear the melody, we know the numbers. One, one, four, four. That's all it is. One, one, five, eight. That's the five. In intervals. Same one, D. That's all it is. Being able to understand your friend. Hey, Sheila, how are you? Good to see you. Dr. Bobby Griffin was a part of my boot camp. I think he was part of two boot camps, I believe. Two, either two or three. Very knowledgeable instructor. Part of the boot camp came in and was able to grasp some concepts. And I, I get a lot of teachers who come in will, will actually be a part of the boot camp and then take what they get from the boot camp. He was part of two. Get what they take from the boot camp and able to help their students. Talked to Paul Jackson Jr. the other day. He called me maybe before I left last week. And we was talking about one of his students. He was talking about quartet guitar players. The student wanted to know about quartet guitar players. So, yeah, can he play quartet? Absolutely. Paul can play anything. But what he did was he referred the student to someone in that area like Eric Walls or Chris Payton because these guys grew up in it. So they have a, a better understanding of the quartet music and they're able to teach the this, that, or the other. See, you know what I'm saying? So it's important that we understand, especially when we want to play the style of guitar. Um, you wouldn't go to a heavy metal guitar player. 
to teach you quartet guitar or gospel music. You want to know the heavy metal or learn. If I want to know, learn how to shred, I'm going to one of those guys. So that's one of the reasons, one of the many reasons. Hey, Kane, what's up? One of the many reasons that I really, I'm excited about doing um, boot camp, guitar boot camp, gospel guitar boot camp, because I love being able to share. And then I love that light bulb moment. And I love when you sit there and say, oh, shoot, if I play this, I can play, I can play that in so many different places because I understand, number one, what the numbers are. Number two, I know what my, how to find it on my fretboard. And number three, I know how it's built. So it takes you out of that box that we've all said we were stuck in the box. It takes you out of that box because it gives you a better understanding of your fretboard, what you're playing, what you hear in your head. So that's so, 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 so important. Like knowing one, three, and five is your triad, one flat three, and major triad one flat three and flat five is your minor one flat three flat five is diminished one three sharp five is augmented and just having that allows me to be able to play being able to play that stuff Inversions. James, what's happening? So I definitely need to please, James, go to KevinWilsonGuitar.com and sign up. Go to Kevin for those who are interested, go to Kevin Wilson Guitar and sign up for the boot camp. I promise it's going to open up your understanding of how to approach learning songs, getting out of that box um, of just playing just certain chords. And even if you're in a box, let's say, James, let's say you're in the box of just playing triads. Say, I don't know any four note chords. I just know triads okay you just know triads what if you just know how to place triads what if you know just how to place those triads by playing what about if you just knew how to do that and those are just triads. But if you know how to place them, if you know where to go with them and see. <laughs> All right. Mr. Nations, I've been playing for several years now, but feel like I've hit a hard stop with learning. Join the boot camp. Join the boot camp. I'm not, listen. You will get so much from being in this boot camp. Am I going to challenge you? Absolutely, yes. They call me Sergeant Carter in boot camp. And it's only because I want you to get this stuff. But just like I was telling James, just telling James, even if you just know triads, just know just three no chords, these, that stuff. If you know how to place that stuff, it's a beautiful thing. This is a triad. 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 It's a triad. Ah, that way. 
All it that's triads. You know? You know, it opens up so much when you understand how this stuff is built. How is it built? One, three, and five. How is a minor built? One flat three and five. How is the diminished one flat three flat five? And then I show you how to move these things all over the place where it's just like, oh, goodness, by playing these diminish all over the fretboard. And it seems like, okay, cool. I'm glad you're going to sign up triple. Come on in. Listen, we have a lot of fun. And you know what? I actually did two of them. I'm doing two. They're the same class. It'll be the same class. But there are people who can't do Saturdays that may be able to do Mondays. So I split it up where we can do a Saturday at 12 noon. I think it's 12 noon. 12 to 2. I think so. And then I have the Monday 7 to 9. It's two hours. <laughs> Yeah, Chris was a part of one of, one of either one or two of my boot camps. Can't remember, but Chris was there. Yeah, it's gonna it's really gonna open up your mind, give you a deeper understanding, a better relationship um, with your instrument. You know, and the great thing about the boot camp is everything is recorded, so you study. Once the the um, class is over, the video is rendered put into the community where you and your uh, your classmates are in there and you guys can talk about different things that may have stumped you. Or a lot of times what I'll do is I'll add videos or I'll go in and I'll, I'll talk about what was taught um, in the boot camp. I, you know, it's great. It's great. You know, even learning arpeggios and how is that chord melody and everybody's big on chord melody chord melody is a big thing with people and i get it because it's a beautiful thing but you can't really get in depth into chord melody if you don't understand your fretboard if you don't understand how how these chords are built and why they work and why they work so i am going to put this up here so everybody will know E V I N Wilson Guitar dot com and mosey on over there. Not not hang out with me because I I got forty one people on there on here. I want y'all hang out with me. So earlier we did thank you Lord. Uh. Jonathan, what's up? Okay, man, listen. Thank you for investing in your your musical growth because you're going to grow. When you go to church <laughs> or wherever you play at a church, people are going to notice because this happens to a lot of my students. They say, man, I went to church and I started playing different things. Just like, thank you, Lord. And they said, oh, my goodness. My keyboard turned around and looked at me like, what did you just do? And <laughs> all it is is playing triads. But it's the way you approach the triads, the way you move, how you making this sound. Because you're actually almost singing. You're singing the song with your instrument. And you're not playing just single notes. You're playing...
See that? Yeah. yeah. And you know what? Jonathan, it's just simple techniques. Simple techniques. And I didn't go way crazy with nothing. You didn't. And it's all chords and stuff that you guys are already playing. Let me get closer so you can hear me. It's all stuff that you're already playing. We're, but I'm going to teach you how to place it. I'm going to teach you how it works. I'm going to teach you how to move it around so it sounds like you're playing so much more. <laughs> yeah, see, there, see, see, you're getting it already, Lewis. You're getting it already. Just like we did it. We just triads. I think this is Romarcus' fourth boot camp. I think this is four for, for Romarcus. Why? Because he's steady growing. He's, he's steady getting it. He wants that information. He wants to know how to go instead of going. I'm trying to land on court to only follow. <laughs> Your ear will take you. It will take you. It may take you. But don't just depend on just that ear. You gotta have some knowledge. You gotta know a little something. You gotta know a little something. So, you know, there, there's so many ways that I could play that same thing. But it's because. Dono, what's up, sir? It's I'm able to play these different ways and not get lost. Why? Because I know my fretboard. I know the number system. I know how to build chords. That's why I'm able to do these things. How is that going to help you? It's going to take you out of that box from just playing... Um, that one simple way to playing maybe 10 or 15 different simple ways by playing the same chord inversions and just being able to move them. We did Yes, Jesus Love. I actually did Yes, Jesus Loves Me in, in Seattle at the conference. And it blew them away. They thought I was playing a whole lot of stuff. Uh, they thought I was playing. Hey, David. <laughs> oh, man. They thought I was playing a whole lot of stuff when I played Yes, Jesus Loved Me. And I, I started out playing the Netherlands. What's up, my brother? I just played. <laughs> 
then I played it again. I played it again like this. And they thought I had changed it, but I just played in versions. <laughs> then I went to the six. And they was like, oh. And so when I went into my class, when I went into my class to teach my, my class, because I did a performance, and then I did a class, it was standing room only. It was standing room only. There was no seats left. People were standing around the walls. Why? Because, and I'm going to just say it just like this. And I was the only African-American that was teaching at this particular conference. In the room in my class, I was the only African-American in my class. Those ladies and gentlemen, because they were ladies and young ladies, middle-aged older ladies and gentlemen. It was in my class because they wanted to get, yes, Jesus loved me. How did you play that? How, how did you come up? What, what? And let me tell you something. The class ranged from people, because I went around the class and asked the question. The class ranged from the people who've been playing a few weeks or a few months to one gentleman had been playing for 58 years and we talked and we 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 went over different things they wanted to know about the fretboard fretboard knowledge they wanted to know how to how are, are you building your chords they wanted to know okay do you incorporate the number system they wanted to know about chord melody and all of this stuff and it's like, wow, this is incredible. This, you know, so it it will allow them to take their playing, whether it's just uh, if it's just contemporary Christian music, to be able to enhance. One gentleman came up to me and said, "It's been a long time since I've sat and listened to someone play, and it made me weep just to hear the way you played." how it, it just touched my soul. And that comes along with the knowledge of this. Yes, it comes from from the heart, but if I could if I had the heart for it, but had no understanding of it, it's not doing me any good. Not doing you any good. So that's why I am really excited about doing the boot camp. I am. I get excited about doing boot camp because I have so much fun with my students. We laugh, we joke, but we learn in there. And when they walk away, because we do a recital. We do a recital. I'm not sure if we have a recital schedule already. But, and, and you know what, King? I like you said that because it's not complicated. It's just, it's just the information by you getting this information, by you grasping these concepts, you know, it is it is a lot simpler because a lot of the stuff you guys are playing already. You guys are playing already. So, you know, doing these boot camps, I just love being able to share with the group and we're going in there and we're going to get the stuff. And like I said, 
Um, every so often, I'll bring in one of my friends. Like, we've had Eric Walls in. We've had Isaiah Sharkey. We've had Paul Jackson. And they don't come in to judge my students. They come in to encourage my students. You know, I probably will call Chris and have Chris Payton come in. Me and him have been talking the last few weeks about some different things. So I may have Chris Payton come in and, and share with you guys, you know. But I'm not sure. It, it really depends. It could be anywhere from Chris Payton to Jerris Mosey or different guitar players that I love. Kerry uh, Marshall came in to my class, you know. Um, so it, it just really depends. It really depends. But I do that to encourage my students that, listen, we all started at a certain place. You know, um, we don't stand in judgment. We stand in love and we stand for uh, helping one another. You know, we stand for growth. That's what I stand for. That's why even on here, there's a level of respect um, that is required. I don't let anybody trip in boot camp. I don't let anybody trip on my social media pages. And I don't let anybody trip on on here, just live YouTube. I'm not sure. I'm I'm honestly, Dwayne, I'm not sure. Honestly, I can't really say because I initially wasn't gonna do this boot camp until next year sometime. Because of my schedule and what I'm already um committed to doing. So I, I I can't say that I, I have anything scheduled to for another boot camp. So I encourage you to make this one if you're able to. Really encourage you to make this. Hey, Mr. Red, to make this particular boot camp. Uh, if you hadn't, um, go back. If you're just coming in, go back to the replay. I actually played some excerpts from the boot camp. I'll play... A few of them for a few minutes, and then I'll I'll come back to it. But um, oh, thank you, Jamarcus. What's happening? Jamarcus is a killer guitar player. Man, I love the Fractal. It's a great unit. This thing, man, here is amazing. This is what what y'all hear me playing now. Um, it's just the Fractal. That's it. That's the only thing I'm using. So I love, I love their gear. I'm going to go back and I'm going to play some excerpts from, from the boot camp. And I'm not going to play the whole thing, but just check out some, how I cover some, some stuff here in the boot camp and how we talk. Okay. And I'll come right back. I'm doing this ladies and gentlemen, because I need you guys to really get this and understand this. So when, when you talk about being educated and learning stuff in camp, it's not just I'm getting licks and tricks in this boot camp. Because if that's all that you get, I'll shut it down. I won't do it. You have to have an understanding of what's going on and why things are going on and why things are happening. In order to understand that, I have to go back and make sure that you guys know. Honestly. So you see, Josh, how I drop down? You see, that? drop down to, to grab that. Okay. So. It actually spells out the chord without you actually playing the chord. Diminish, augmented, major, and minors, right? It's really important that we understand these concepts because what happens is um, this stuff actually leads to the next um, level, per se, of, uh, of your playing. 
Um, this information will help you um, understand your fretboard and it's actually the GPS to your plane. Um, there's only but so far you can go by just muscle memory and you know you can do pretty good but by knowing basic theory just knowing the basic theory of guitar you don't have to be a theory head or buff but knowing basic here uh, theory it will allow you to do things that's outside of what your muscle memory is used to. Five. Play. What are, what quarter are we playing on at five? Is it like a G sus? G sus. What G what quarter are we playing? A rich. What you say? It's like a G sus two. G sus two. Yeah. G seven sus two. Mm hmm. You get it. Or sometimes they'll call it F, F with a, a, a G in the bass. It could be an F. If you play a F triad and add the, the G in the bass, it's the, you get the same result. See that? F triad, add, add the G in the bass. Got that? This is all a part of ear training and being able to pick out different things when you hear them. And sometimes our ears will mess with us because we think it's one thing, but it's absolutely something different. You can even pick up the notes of the chord starting on on the E, right? Because we know the chord is, right? We got that, right? But you know, everybody did really good. Um, there was, you know, some who, you know, kind of got off track a little bit, but everybody has the concept and, and they, you have something to build off or so that's the big thing. And like I was saying earlier, it was more making the statement. And a lot of times what we did at first is we went to, or we did stuff like that. But a lot of times what I'll do is I'll start I'll start there and work my way up to the higher register, okay? major seven chord in there okay and you played major seven chord in there now also um pay if you're gonna play those lines play really pay close attention to how they're moving okay even you don't have to play all of them if you just play the one You can just play the one, but don't worry about capturing every nuance until you're able to really execute every one of them. So, Kel, can I just ask, when you're playing that slide, you're playing the three strings, the, the D, G, and B? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's all. Because otherwise it would be, and that's not what we heard. Okay. You no, know, and I went around and asked everybody what makes up different things. So we know a diminishes a one flat three flat five. So if we just add those notes into our chords and just figure out where they at, you can play different inversions in different places. You know, it's just like the one flat three flat five. Find that all over the neck on different strings. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Now, when we do the bend, I wanna hear. So, I wanna hear that. So, we're going. One more time, one more time. Family, watch, 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 watch. Here we go.
but I'm, I'm going to expand your way of approaching. I'm, I'm going to give you tools and a toolbox, not to be used all at the same time, but tools that you will have if you want to take and say, okay, I don't want to play this chord. I want to use this substitution. I want to do that. When I said substitution, I mean a different way of playing the same chord a different variation of playing that same particular chord, okay? Everybody with me? We're good? Good? Shake your head. Thumbs up. So there you have it. There you have it. In a nutshell. So those who are interested in joining the boot camp, I, I, every time I see, see myself go, I have to laugh. <laughs> We went over, um, we went over bends in that particular segment. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Everett, please go to Kevin Wilson guitar.com. Go to Kevin Wilson guitar.com. All the details, the schedule even shows the, the calendar. Um, with all the information, everything that you would possibly want to know, just shoot on over there to KevinWilsonGuitar.com and um, it'll it'll give you everything you need to know about the boot camp. Uh, Lewis, you have no clue. <laughs> you have no clue. It's going to be so much fun. But, you know, it's it's work too. But it doesn't feel like work, but it's work. It's work too. You'll have homework assignments and all of that good stuff um, that you'll be responsible for um, having. And don't skip out on your homework because I'll go around. Sometimes I'll hit different people, but um, I, I may choose, say, Lewis, hey, go ahead and let's, let's see your homework assignment and explain this such and such to me. <laughs> oh, no. Teach it to the class, I, I should say. Teach it to the class. And you you don't want to be caught with like the deer in the headlights, okay? You want to be saying, oh, I got mine. Yes, sir, I got mine. <laughs> I got mine. And hey, listen, everyone, thank you so very much for joining me. Um, it's 7.03 by my clock. Um, uh, it's been a great Monday. I have to get off here because I have other stuff that I have to take care of. And um, I look forward to uh, sharing with you guys again soon. Hey, hang out. You never know because I may pick, pop back on here later this week if I have time. Okay. If you have any questions, shoot that your questions or information. Put it here um, or, you know, leave me a comment or whatever. Or you can go to the website. First visit, Lawton, Oklahoma. We have somebody else from Lawton on here, I believe. I believe. What's up, William? Good to see you, man. Thank you for hanging out. I'm about to go off. Go back and check out that replay. Thank you also. I see that you know Happy Guitar Hangs. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy is my dude. Actually, I played on a, a track on Happy's um, new project. I was, I was honored to be able to write a song for his project, actually. Wrote a song. I think we call it 335. I think it's that's the name of it. Um, 335. Yeah. So yeah, if you if you uh, speak with him, tell him I I um I hollered at him. He called me C E G. He'll tell you why he called me C E G. I be I laugh every time I hear it. But listen, visit my website for information on boot camp. You have any questions, comments? Hit me up. I appreciate you guys. I really do. I look forward to every Monday. From 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hanging out with my great fans and friends. I don't call them fans. I don't like to call people fans. I like friends. Because, you know, you, you always can't keep a fan. But you, most of the time you can keep a friend. They're a good friend. Anyway, I'm, 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 I'm babbling. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. <laughs>